Smith will carry into the corner. Lays it up top. Man carry shot blocked by Smith, and the rebound played away from Pitts to center. Bomb going to regroup in. I think one of the things that are positives you have to look at is in the last game, beating the best team in the Western Conference. Henderson has scored the short end, and Margaret cannot really dump it in. Smith plays it around. And Carey tried to use the skate to kick it deep. Instead, it's a two-on-one shorthanded. Van Gilbert with Thang. Van Gilbert coming in. Back challenges two stops for an hour. Unbelievable. Great stop. As well as a great, not only, uh, well, we saw him most of the time as a winner, I think, with the, in the center position now, playing on the power play and getting a lot more ice time. Two-on-one here. A strip by Schrader. A shot off the crossbar and out of play. Well, did have a phantom penalty a couple of games ago here. <laughs> Jonathan Blum has the puck off the face, off the back, cutting in his shot. Off the back, he scores! It trickled through that. The Admirals were two for four in the power play against the Wolves. On Saturday, the one for one here, they lead one nothing. Shots on target on Sunday. Happy belated birthday. Tim Miller turning 25 yesterday. Out in front, Schrader shoots, he scores! Jordan Schrader is tied again. His 16th of the season, now tied. Line in on the draw against Bits, tied up at the dot. The Wolves come away with it, so give Bits another win. Rodin through center. Pass across the rim. Oh! oh! Rodin gets the goal. And then Kevin Henderson and beats Smith. Well, he has three against the Wolves now. That one is uh, directed <laughs> from the slot. Right up top. Matheson to Schrader. A lot of moving parts in his power play. Schrader to Davies. Schrader goes to the front. Oh, oh, oh. oh up by Smith. Rebound by Schrader missing. Back up ice. Baxu across the line. Ships it deep. Miller first man on it. Catches it free to Baumgartner. He eats it along the backboards as he's being pressured. Eight seconds to go in the period. Admiral's looking for one final chance. Miller breaking. Oh, point blank. Eddie Lack is there. Four total shots. The Wolves will find a work to four check. Pass up top. Boogie and shot off the goal and he scores! And I know if it, the Wolves had in front helped it in, but Rodin puts it on that again. Hustling, the Admirals hold the zone. Drop back for four. He'll step in, pulls the luck shot, got through. Black makes the save. That might have even deflected off of Ryan's stick out in front. It is a wow. face off from Wilson. The Wolves nice will play out. Mike Duco has an empty net. And he makes it a three goal aid for the Wolves as he puts home his 10th of the year. Unbelievable. 18 losses coming in four different streaks. Out of the 22 total. And it's driving out in front. The Admirals never say die. It's now a two goal game. Henderson out in front. Shot at the end of the <laughs> blocked by Bartley. Hadar picks up his shot. He scores! Darren Hadar has goals in back-to-back -back games. And perhaps a comfortable lead here by a three down for the Wolves with four to go. And Jordan Henry is going to get his first assist with the Wolves. And Chicago picks up back-to-back -back wins. Eddie Lack stops 25 of 27. He also assisted on the Hadar goal. Well, this ends up being a huge game. I, I really believe the Wolves needed to win this game if they are going to make the playoffs. Just because of everything I've been talking about. Home games, not plentiful anymore. They need to win these games, and I thought the effort was there tonight without Steven Reinfeldt. The guys really sucked it up and had a heck of a game. Good face-offs. I mean, they worked very hard and diligently through all areas of the ice. Uh, and this is a good comeback win after getting crashed 6-0 in Milwaukee.